This is where uh, Norm is, right? Norm? Yeah, Norm, the normal gym 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 leader. No. Your dad, your pops? No, because oh, is that his name? I thought it was. Is his name Norm? What's his name? I don't know. What is his name? I don't let me look it up. Let's uh let me just go in there and say hi to my daddy. I'm pretty sure it's in Pedalburg, bro. Yeah, it is in Pedal yeah, this gym is in Pedalburg. Dude, 2013, by the way. Totally off topic. Was this last session or this session? His name is Dad. This is no, this uh, was this session. This, uh, yeah, that that was the question that we it, forgot about, and it was probably next episode right now, but in, that was the question that I forgot about. How was your 2013? No, no, in, you answered that. Injustice Gods Among Us came out in 2013. Among Us? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is an awesome game. Fuck yeah for Injustice Gods Among Us. Mm -hmm. um, also, Super Mario 3D World came out. I don't think that's right. Wolf Among Us came out, by the way. That's pretty hype. The Wolf what? The Wolf Among... God damn it. <laughs> dude, I fucking... Please, dude. Normal gym leader... Yes! Yes! Emerald. I'm tired of you. It's fucking Norman. It's Norman, it's and he's a normal Norm type. It's Norman, and he's a normal type gym I leader. I want a Ralts, bro. Ralts is like a 10%. And he's in fucking Pedalberg. Go fuck yourself. I, I just fucking talked told to him. You. I know him. I talked to him just now. Oh, while okay. You're my that bad. Up. My bad. I just didn't know what his name is because his name is Dad in the game. No, nah, dude. It's Norm. It's Norman. You know why his name is Dad? Because he's your pops. <clears throat> That's my dad. That's my dad. So You're not my dad. Where are you going? First gym leader? No, the first gym leader isn't until like later. You got to go all the way to fucking, was it Slateport? Is that the name of the city? Is that it? No, Slateport is... Oh, maybe. Yeah, I it's this little bitch, it's dude. It's the one it's that goes... It's fucking Wally. <laughs> well, I told you Wally... I told you we had another fucking rival. We don't name him, though. Uh, we don't name him, but it is Wally, and he <laughs> is our rival. I fucking knew it. Lucas. Lucas is the rival in Gem 4. I think you might be right. The motherfucker with the blonde hair who runs mm -hmm. out. By the way, I would like to point out, Brian Diamond and Shining Pearl pooped on my fucking memories of Gem 4. Really? Like to, was it not good? Have you played it? I haven't played I didn't play the Gen 3 remake either. They made a... Okay, the Gen 3 remake is actually good. The mm -hmm. Gen 4 remake, unfortunately, is so true to life of Pearl and Diamond that they're just substantially lower games than, than Platinum. What do you mean true to life? It's it's a one-for-one -one copy of the game. Oh, and I, I, and like I don't really that. like the art style. I saw the little chibi models. I don't really yeah. like those guys. No, apparently there is a ROM hack for... Like platinum, like apparently you can get a, a ROM hack for platinum. Can I sit here until I get a Ralts? Would you be upset? I will not be that upset as okay. long as we get our talk about on time. Very well. Right? Uh, did you watch the Pokemon Masters anime, by the way? Um, or uh, Pokemon Journeys, I think it's called Journeys. Is that a new one? Yeah. So they've redid like Ash's season one journey, but like it's like nicer animation and shit. I think it's on like, Netflix, um, and it's like not long. I think it's like twelve episodes or something. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I want to get into the Pokemon anime. It's like that's on my list of of background animes to watch. So like that's pretty sick. Naruto. One Piece is like the ultimate background anime to watch. Apparently, my coworker's doing that right now. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I was doing it for a while too. Like I, I would I would be playing like an MMO and then just like having One Piece on the side. What MMO? Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, or good and ass. RuneScape. Good ass fucking MMOs. Yeah. Were you, did you play a lot of RuneScape as a kid? I didn't actually. I played a lot of Adventure Quest. Where's it? Oh shit! Yeah, we should play. Do you Adventure? like Adventure Quest better or I, AQ Worlds? Oh, I did see. I never played AQ Worlds. It's pretty good. Um, um but yeah, there's not much to both of those games. It feels like compared to other shit, there's not that much to do. Probably. It's it's like a very kind of linear sort of game. I and, mean, yeah, it's a flash fucking MMO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Like, yeah, but like RuneScape also came out at that time, and that game is endless. Apparently, a lot of people like RuneScape. I don't really understand the material grind of it. I don't. We talked about this in a previous recording session. I don't like material grinding or building or anything like that. I don't know if RuneScape is like XP grinding more than anything. You're not really always looking for materials but and you stuff. Do that via material grinding. Well, so a lot of the progression of RuneScape is like you need to do quests and journals or what they call diaries so each town is a different diary okay and then that opens up like shortcuts to like get places faster quests open up like something called the fairy ring system which is a three character code that you can put in and it brings you to a random spot on the map like that there are traversal methods there are money making methods there are just just more things you can do in the game by just completing quests and stuff and the game opens up more and then everything's got like prerequisites so okay I wanted to make money at first doing what's called uh, Master Farmer pickpocketing, which is you go up to this NPC called the Master Farmer, you fucking spam pickpocket on him, and then you have enough um, 
items and stuff. You have enough kind of XP and like levels in your in your pickpocketing and items that increase your pickpocketing chance that you are able to pickpocket with almost a hundred percent um accuracy okay and then you just farm the shit out of them and then you can sell their stuff on the grand exchange make like millions per hour no oh, wow. um that was the, and there, there's a whole website for rune scale the wiki is very detailed and almost necessary at certain points which you know take that how you will people either like it or they don't yeah i would say that's not a bad i don't thing think for i'm me. finding this fucking ralts but I'll, i was I'll, gonna say what's the spawn rate what route is this i this is uh 113 i think ralts spawn rate yeah, just look up Emerald. Ralts. Just look up like Ralts locations and spawn rate or whatever. Route one thirteen. Because this is where Wally found the route, the, the Ralts, I believe. Really? So I, I think this, unless it's the fucking next patch of grass, and I've just been being a dummy. But it is. I think it's the lowest spawn rate of any Pokemon in the in this area. You said it's Route one thirteen. I might be completely wrong. You are so wrong, bro. <laughs> it's talking about fucking Skarmory and shit. One hundred two? Is it one hundred two? It might be one hundred two. Four percent. Let's find out. Let's find out. Pedalbrook City. If it's directly o Route One O Two. Yeah, it's uh four percent. Four percent. Yippee. Um But yeah, so so yeah, again, RuneScape has a bunch of prerequisites and everything. And like literally I went in with that goal. Like I want I wanted to do this money making method. I looked up oh. how to actually do it and everything. Yeah. So first of all, you need membership, of course, to do most of the skills, including pickpocketing. Okay. That's a skill that it's a members only skill, which it, uh, the game is made for members only. If you're playing free to play, <gasps> dude, don't kill it, bro. <laughs> and it's a Gardevoir. It's I would not never. A Gallade. Does that what does that have to do with? It's like, gender determines how it's going to evolve, right? Because it can become a Gallade or become a, Gar a Gardevoir. Is that true? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gardevoirs are female only. That might, th yeah. There, there's some, uh, I forget. I forget. Yeah, look, look it up. How it, how it determines how to evolve. That sounds Let right. Let me look it up. Um, I just want to be sure. But sorry, just to end my fucking RuneScape rant, um, I just, you know, I wanted to, that was my goal. I was going to do this fucking, you know, uh, money-making method where I, you know, steal fucking seeds from this farmer's pockets. That sounds easy enough. So first you have to go to this town called Ardo, Ardong or whatever, and then you need to complete the diary in there up to, I believe, expert or which is the mo like basically all the objectives. Yeah. The prerequisites for that are like you need at least like 12 different skills at fucking like level. Um, what's it called? At level 80, you need one at like 92. You need to have make sure that you have your fucking pickpocketing at like oh, 91 or higher. Pokeballs, I hope. Yeah, I hope this shit, shit catches. Do you ever hold B? Like, is what's your what's your guaranteed? Oh, like, oh, there we go. What's your superstitious, like, I will catch this if I... Um, probably, like, spamming it. Like, spamming A or spamming okay, B. Okay, I hold B. That's my, that's my um, way to do it. So I was, I was a tad wrong, but I was largely correct. You can't name this one Addison, too. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, um... It automatically evolves into Gardevoir at level 30 unless you use a Dawnstone and it's a male. Okay. So I was half right. You, I'll, I was I'll, half I'll, right. I'll give you, I'll give you the, uh, the the props you deserve. Um. But yeah, yeah, that's what determines it. Awesome. Um, yeah, Ralsism. I love Gardevoir. I love Psychic types. Psychic types are my favorite type of Pokemon. Oh, really? My favorite is uh, Alakazam. Actually. Alakazam's badass. Absolutely. And I think Gardevoir is almost like the Alakazam of this game. Is Alakazam not in this game? Is he is, Alakazam but I mean, it's Gen 3. Not in this game? Yeah, I know. I mean, Gen 3 specifically. Sorry, that was a test for my microphone, people, to no, not repeat myself. Sometimes you're... I feel like it spikes randomly, and then some other times um, I feel like it doesn't. It's all about talking with resonance. Yeah, I realize with... that I've been, I kind of mumble, but like, because I'm so close to the mic, it works out. Resonance is like Nen from Hunter Hunter. You, you gotta you gotta learn the, the trick of the trade, you know? Who's your favorite Hunter Hunter character? <sighs> That's a good question. There's one good answer. Leorio. That's such a wrong answer. <laughs> Gone. The it's huh? Gone. Go on. Gone. Gone. The main yeah. character. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the goat. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. People like Kilo better though. A lot of the time, I think he's more popular Kilo's, than Gone. Kilo is just like the edge lord of the show, and that's yeah. okay. Like we love Shadow the Hedgehog, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, do you like Shadow better or Sonic better? <sighs> that's hard. I like both equally. Can I say that? She, yeah, it's fine. You're valid. Um, I've been playing actually through Sonic Frontiers, the final um, update. The final update. I saw some interesting stuff about that. Is all I'm gonna say. Um, Amy plays really well. Um, I just started the tail section. I have not played him at all. Mm. Knuckles plays like absolute dog shit. 
Okay. Knuckles is probably it is probably the my least favorite Knuckles adaptation in terms of playing him I've done. I, I saw there was this really large tower that you have to climb as Sonic. Yes. And yes, I've not. People done are like yet. going through it. The fucking springs aren't bringing you where they need to go, which is like that's like you know uh, textbook Sonic the Hedgehog is the fucking. I think that's the hard part is you have to realize that that's textbook Sonic the Hedgehog and like. But is more... that a good thing? That they do that, and that I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I'm I will say that also I it's not that the the things are not taking them where they're supposed to go. I think it's largely like they're not realizing that there's an additional input that they have to do after the spring, like they might have to air boost or something like that, right? Like it's not just go in the spring and take you places because people exactly bitched and moaned about that mm -hmm. when the game had done that in the past, which the game did do that in its base game. But right. now that now the game is like, well, we're going to throw you up in the middle of the air and you have to use a, an air boost to go to the right place or you have to, you know, directionally dodge or something like that. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and a lot of Ooh. people don't like that because they're like, well, Sonic's supposed to take me places. And like, I don't disagree, mm -hmm. but also you asked for a harder game. You got a harder game. And that's that's what it is. Like, do you is think it the game annoying? is harder though because it's annoying, or do you think it's harder because like so they they programmed it with like a difficult but fair uh, uh, philosophy? In I mind? can't speak on it because I haven't done the towers, and I'm gonna say that it's probably both. Mm. Um, like I can already tell playing as Amy, playing as Knuckles, and probably playing as Tail shortly that it's harder because they designed it to be harder. Okay. The game explicitly states like get ready for the challenges ahead because they're not gonna be easy. Okay. Like a character, uh, a character says that to you. Mm -hmm. And so it's not like, I don't think the game is supposed to be like a softball in that regard. I think it's very, yeah. it's supposed to be hard as shit. And like, unfortunately that comes from some level of unfairness, mm -hmm. but I think it's no less unfair than the special levels inside of Super Mario Odyssey or, you know, um, the other 2D Mario games. I... I don't know if I agree because I feel like the the Mario games they'll they'll throw some bullshit at you, but like the controls won't crap out on you. There's so many times in like Sonic, and maybe if we do a Sonic Adventure two playthrough, you can like show me the error of my ways because I feel like there's so many mechanics where I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? Like it's so stupid that that happened or whatever. Um, um no, I get that. I mean, I think I feel, Sonic Adventure two shows its age pretty yeah, hard, but I feel like it's the same thing with Frontiers in like just a different context or whatever a little i mean again i haven't experienced it too much but like i had this example where i was trying to like go on this wall as amy and like it wasn't clipping correct and i was like why the fuck isn't it clipping mm -hmm. um and then i realized oh it's not clipping because I, i'm supposed to be doing this as knuckles right and like so there's a level of intrinsic game design there that's not always clear but mm -hmm. it is there it's just the process of understanding that and sonic is kind of a game that makes you do that unfortunately but like not every Sonic game is poorly made. We talked about this previously, but like Generations yeah. is well made. Mm -hmm. Adventure 1 and 2 are made well for its time. Um, Unleashed is well made. It's like it's janky, but I still love it, you know? Yeah. It's it, a little, it's a little, you know. If you ever want me to bring, I mean, I'm not sure how you want to play Adventure 2. I'm sure we could play it on Steam. Yep. But if you want to play a different one like Unleashed, I can always bring over my Xbox and we can hook okay. that up. Yeah, we can do a little it. capture card situation.